happening. Communities across the country are getting ready to honor the men and women who gave their lives to protect our freedom. We do have team coverage for you this morning on events going on all across our region. Erin Heft is in Lodi, but let's start with Leticia Ordaz. She joins us live in Fair Oaks. Good morning, Leticia. Good morning, Teo and Deirdre. It's a moving tribute out here at Fair Oaks. This is Mount Vernon. You can see the hundreds of flags that are already placed throughout the cemetery grounds. And this is all thanks to the Cub Scouts. They got here very early at 530 this morning and they began setting up those large flags with the help of some adults out here. The smaller flags were placed at the grave sites of the fallen yesterday. Today, troops from all over the region are helping Mount Vernon as they prepare for the big ceremony that's happening later today. It's been a 14 year tradition for the scouts in Sacramento County to come out here and to honor the men and women who made the ultimate sacrifice for our country. Scouts say that each American flag represents freedom and they want to make sure that our fallen heroes are not forgotten. I'm sad that the veterans died. It makes me think of the war and my grandpa. It feels like they're all my grandpas too and grandmas because they worked hard also. The young scouts very emotional as they're setting up the flags today. The ceremony at Mount Vernon gets underway at 11 this morning. Everyone is invited to attend. The ceremony should wrap up by noon. Live in Fair Oaks, Leticia Ordaz, KCL Ray 3 News. All right, thank you, Leticia. Let's go ahead and head to Lodi now, where a special memorial, including a traveling display, is going on. KCR3's Aaron Heff joining us now. Yeah, this is the first time that this display has been located at this place in Lodi before, basically in our area, and it works to honor those who paid with their lives for our freedom. Now, this display really shows soldiers dating back all the way to the Civil War, also honoring the more than 7,000 soldiers who died following the attack on our country on September 11th. The one-of-a-kind pictorial display has 780 of those who died, their faces shown on the walls inside Cherokee Memorial Park. It's said that a person dies twice. The first time is when they stop breathing, and the second time is when their name is no longer spoken. And this display has seen quite a bit of foot traffic over the weekend. Over a thousand people are expected to pass through, and you still have an opportunity today. It starts at 9, and it runs through 4 o'clock. In Lodi, Aaron Heft, KCRA 3 News. All right, All right thank Aaron, you. thank you. Now let's go to Elk Grove, and there will be a Memorial Day ceremony at 10 at East Lawn Memorial Park. And at Elk Grove Memorial Park, Congressman Tom McClintock is speaking at Elk Grove Memorial Park. Rancho Cordova will host a ceremony at 10 at Cordova High School, and this year's service will have a special tribute for those who died in the Vietnam War. In Sacramento, the Diocese of Sacramento is doing a Memorial Day Mass and Patriot Honors at St. Mary Cemetery. Bishop Jaime Soto will be leading that Mass at 10, followed by a procession, which will happen at 11. In Modesto, the VFW will hold a service at Acadia Memorial Park at 11 o'clock with Mayor uh, there and other city leaders speaking. A VFW will also do their annual tossing of flowers from the Lion Bridge on 7th Street into the Tuolumne River at 9 this morning. A Korean War veterans will also hold a ceremony at 11 o'clock at the Stanislaus Veterans Center on Coffee Road, which will include a free meal for vets, 12 bucks for all others. In Riverbank at 1130, there will be a ceremony at the Community Center's Veterans Hall or Veterans Wall rather and Turlock's American Legion post will host a program at Turlock Memorial Park at 10 and in Houston there will be a ceremony at one o'clock at Lakewood Memorial Park and funeral home. Um,